Hey everybody, welcome back to the Print 3D channel. GTEC sent us over the A10M color mixing 3D printer, and we've had it for a couple of weeks now. And as you can see, we've gotten out quite a few cool looking prints. And I wanted to share my first impressions and honest opinion with you guys, so stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back, and thank you for joining me here on the Print 3D channel. As I was saying in the introduction, GTEC sent us over the A10M color mixing 3D printer, and we've had it for quite a few weeks now, and I've had a chance to really dial in my settings and get out some really great prints, and I wanted to share my first impressions and honest opinion with you guys. First off, let me thank GTEC for sending over the A10M color mixing 3D printer. I really appreciate it. We're really going to have a lot of fun with it now that we have the settings dialed in, and of course, we were not paid for our opinion or our review, we were just given the 3D printer, so no money has changed hands. And now that we have that out of the way, let's talk a little bit about the 3D printer itself. If you remember, in September we did our unboxing video, and you can watch that here, and it was actually a really easy assembly and we were off and printing in no time. Once we got our settings dialed in, we were able to get out some really great prints. Now this printer is a color mixing printer, it doesn't have independent extruders. It has a Y connection down in the hot end that takes both pieces of filament and fuses them together at certain points. That's for the color mixing. Now if you want to use it as a two color printer, you're going to really have to dial in your settings and really get those retraction settings proper because it does do a lot of stringing because of the way this is set up. But as far as color mixing goes, it's an awesome printer. Now this printer features a 220 by 220 by 260 millimeter build volume, which is actually a pretty good size build volume considering the size of the printer. It has a very small footprint. It has all metal construction. I haven't found any real 3D printed parts on there. There are some acrylic and some injection molded parts, but all in all, it's a metal construction printer. And it's actually very sturdy and I've had no issues with Z-Wobble. So the construction on the printer itself is really, really good. The printer also features a nice heated bed with the GTEC silicone carbide glass on it. And it also has the print surface on it that's really good for adhering prints. So once it cools down, they just fall off the print bed, which is really, really nice. And having the heated bed is really nice, especially if you're gonna use this printer for a two color printer and you wanna run some sort of support material through the other side, which would probably be very tricky, but I'm sure you could dial it in with the proper settings. It also has an active part cooling fan and there's a 360 degree cooling on the hot end itself. It doesn't have any kind of silicone sock or any kind of insulation on it, but with that kind of cooling, you're gonna get consistent temperatures. The filament is driven into the hot end through a dual extruder system using Bowden tubes. At the top of the cross member are two large NEMA motors that drive in with a three to one gear ratio, which really gives a good bite on the filament and is guaranteed to drive the filament down to the hot end and really hold on to the filament during heavy retraction settings. Along with those dual drive systems at the top cross member are dual filament sensors, which can be enacted through the LCD. The printer also features an LCD with a very large knob, which is easy to move through all the different menus of the Marlin system that came installed on this printer. There's also a reset button should you have to reset your printer, which is very nice. And another benefit to this printer is the power supply has a built-in fuse system and an on-off switch and is available for UK and US voltage. There's also a few other options available if you should order the printer through GTEC, which includes a bed level sensor and a Wi-Fi module. Now the printers came stock without those two options, but I would probably add those at a future date. And again, the printer was very easy to assemble. It went together without any problems and we were up and printing in no time. One of the highlight features of this 3D printer is the fact that it's a color mixing printer. Like I said previously, two independent filaments come down into a Y connector into the hot end and mix the filaments together. Again, you can also use this for a two color printer as long as you have your settings dialed in very, very good because there is an issue with retraction with that kind of setup in the hot end. Now the color mixing app that's available through GTEx Forum is a really cool option too. If you don't wanna to have to set up the color mixing template which is available through the LCD, you can download their color mixing app, generate your G code and run it through this system. What's really cool about this is you can add different levels of color mix throughout and create bands and all kinds of cool designs. Once you have it all set up, you just hit the color mix button and export out your G-code, put it on your SD card and send it over to the printer. This is a very handy little app to have on your desktop to accompany whatever slicer you're using to create your G-code, and it really does a good job with the color mixing. You can also use the color mixing template, which is featured in the LCD. Now this is a bit of a challenge to get working properly. You have to put in the exact measurements of your model that you're going to print into the model's template settings. 
the first thing I would do is set up how much of the filament you want to blend. And I usually go from zero to 100%. And in this example, we're just going to show you that it's pretty easy to set up. Then you go over to the template size in the template size of the model, and you put your start and end code that you want the colors to start mixing in. Now it's important to note that if you don't put in the right measurements, it will not work. But when it does work, it produces some very beautiful results. And I found that the color mixing template is really easy to use with any G code you have, as long as it's set up for at least the A10 or A10M 3D printer. And it's my understanding that there's some new firmware available through GTEC's GitHub site, and I'll put that link down in the description that includes some new settings and some new ways to do color mixing and a little bit more precise movements through the menus and some new menu options as well. Check that out, I think it's available now. And like I said, you can use this as a two color printer, but you're gonna really have to dial in your retraction settings because of the way the filament is fed into the hot end. Now, when I originally started using it, I was using the original version of Simplify 3D and recently they've updated it to a newer version that has some upgrades to the multi-material printing and I believe that solved some of the problem. I think the biggest issue was is the original purge tower in Simplify 3D was too small and you weren't able to purge the nozzle enough. But now with this new version, I'm getting some really clean prints in a two color version off a color mixing extruder. So you could use this as a two color printer if you really got your settings dialed in. And like I said, I was able to get some really great results and I'm anxious to try some larger scale models. The only caveat is, is that it sometimes doubles or even triples the print time because you are using a purge block and it does have to print something on that purge block for every single layer of the model, no matter what. So overall, there are three different ways you can use this color mixing 3D printer. You can generate your own G code and bring it into the color mixing app from GTEC and export out new code, which has the color mixing settings built in, or you can bring over straight G code to the printer and use the color mixing template built into the printer or you can dial in your settings and use this as a two color printer. So there's quite a few options available for this printer and I think that's pretty unique and it's a whole lot of fun. Now that we know everything about the printer itself, let's talk about the prints that we're able to produce from this really cool color mixing printer. As usual, there are a couple of test models included with the GTEC printer. One of them is the color mixing dog. Now we did have a little bit of issue on the chin, but overall I think the color mixing aspect of the print turned out awesome and the print quality itself is very, very good. The next model is the safety cone. Now this is also a multicolor print, but in this instance, the filament actually just changes color and keeps printing. So there's a little bit of a blend between each layer or each color on the cone itself. And that print turned out really, really good. There's no purge on this one. The other model that's included on the SD card is a two color lizard, which has a purge block. And that actually turned out pretty good. There is a little bit of color bleed. I believe that the color block could have been a little larger. But overall, the print quality is really, really good. So it was time to move forward using my own settings. Now, a good friend of mine, Calvin, over at Make It With Calvin, sent over some settings that he had started with on his A10M printer. And I started using that as my base settings in Simplify 3D to work up to where we are now. Plus, there's been an upgrade to Simplify 3D, which I believe helped out a little bit. So once I got those settings dialed in to my liking, I started printing. The first thing I tried to do is color mixing because I found that to be the most attractive part of this printer because you can really do some artful style color prints. So I started with the gear base, one of my own designs, and I'll have the links to everything that we used in our review here down in the description so you guys can check out those models yourself. But the color mixing on this turned out excellent. I was very happy with the results. We we're using two different colors of AMZ 3D filament and the blends between the two colors is just spectacular. I was very, very happy with the way this looked and I was anxious to try a couple other different things. In between that, I was also still trying to dial in my two color settings and I managed to get out a dice print. Now, there is a lot of color bleed between the two models itself, between the purge tower and the dice itself, but I was pretty happy that the two color aspect was starting to work. Now, there was a lot of stringing between the two models or between the purge tower and the model itself, so I knew I had to draw, dial in my retraction settings even more but I moved on to another color mixing print because I wanted to use the template itself. And that was the low poly rose twist face. And this is one of my favorite prints to do on any printer because it's a base mode print. Plus it looks really beautiful once it's printed. So for this color mixing, I decided to use something I'd never tried before, which was a translucent filament along with a opaque filament. And the results were amazing. I was super happy with the way this looked. There's a very cool gradation or gradient between the two colors and you get to see a little bit of the translucent fade away slowly and become a solid opaque color. And that was an excellent print. I was super happy with the way that looked, but it was time to keep dialing in those two color settings. So I went back to the drawing board and the next thing that I printed out was another dice. 
Now, at this point, Simplify 3D had updated their software, so their purge block was actually two purge blocks sitting next to each other, more of a purge tower purge block system. The print came out excellent. There was some issues with some top layers, but I was very happy with the two color look, plus the stringing had suddenly gone away on its own. I had not changed any settings, but the two color aspect of the dice that we printed or die that we printed was really, really nice. I was super happy with the results, but I still love that color mixing, so I switched back to another color mixing print. But this time I wanted to use the app from GTech. So I downloaded the app, and it's really easy to use. Basically, you just bring in your own G code, you set up how you want your color mixing to go, which is by hitting the Add button and setting up your parameters within there. And you can also hit the Add button again and add multiple settings. So you could do multiple gradients or multiple color mixes, or you can even use solid colors or solid bands in the middle of the print. So this is a really cool app to play with. Once you're done, you just hit the Mix or Color Mix button and you export out that G code, put it on your SD card and bring it over. So for this print, we did the rose twist low poly base again, and this time I used uh, translucent blue and opaque red, and it really turned out awesome. I was so happy with the results. It almost looks like glass in some areas of the print, and I was really happy that I was able to get consistent results using the template built into the system and with the GTech color mixing app, so it was a good comparison. After that, it was time to go back to two-color printing again because I love switching back and forth. And the next model that I printed out was a multicolor traffic cone. And the multicolor traffic cone turned out awesome. It was a much longer print. I think it was about eight hours to print this small traffic cone. But it turned out excellent. The print quality looks really, really good. There's no bleed between the colors. And the new settings in Simplify 3D with the dual purge tower or purge block really helps clean out the colors between, between the layers. And I was very happy with the way that looked, so it was time to go back to color mixing again. And on this color mix print, I used a Julia vase that I've been printing a lot lately. I kept the same colors that I had done for the previous print, which was, the, or the previous low poly rose twist vase, which was the red and the uh, translucent yellow for this, both from AMZ. And I set that to print. Now, this took about five hours, five and a half hours to print, and the results were stunning. I think this is one of the coolest features of the printer. You really get some really clean color gradation and color mixes between the colors. And I think using the color mixing app and dialing in multiple settings throughout the print would really add some artistic flair to every model. But this print turned out really great. I'm super happy with the results. And it was time to move on to one more two color print. And for the final two color model that we printed out, it's the Cali Cat. Now I normally print this out in a single color because it's a great calibration item. But I found a two color version posted up on Thingiverse. And again, for everything that we are showing in this review, I'll put those links down in the description so you guys can check those models out yourself. But this print turned out really good. I'm super happy with the results. There was a small issue near the top of the head where the two colors meet. They didn't quite fuse together properly. Now I've been running a calibration cube and seeing the same issue, but I think it has something to do with the heated bed, a small model, and the fact that there is a little bit of shrinkage that happens with PLA over long periods of time with a lot of heat. But the print itself, it turned out great. I am happy with the results. The purge block is about twice the size and maybe even three times the weight of the model but the two color aspect looks really cool. I'm very happy with the results, and I can't wait to start printing even more two color models, but I have to make sure that I have enough print time available because some of the models that I picked out to do two color printing on can take up to 14 hours that would normally take about six. So two color printing is a really cool aspect of the printer, but my favorite part of this printer is the color mixing aspect, and there's multiple ways you can generate your color mix files to print on the GTEC A10M. So overall, the print quality on the GTEC A10M is very good. I don't see any Z artifacting or wobbling going on. Even with those two rolls of filament mounted on the cross member at the top, it is very consistent printability. There is a really good flow of filament. This Y connector in the extruder, I had to clean it twice just to make sure it was clean, but I know you can run some cleaning filament through there and just take care while, while loading your filament up and you won't have as many issues but it is a little bit of a challenge to load up if you're gonna use two color printing. If you're just doing the color mixing, you can just load the filaments up, do a purge for each side of the nozzle or each color, and then start printing and the color mixing looks really great. And the print quality is really great. I'm super happy with the results of all the prints that we did. It is a bit of a challenge to dial in the two color settings, but the color mixing is a lot of fun and I can really see using the color mixing app to come up with some really cool designs on some large scale bases. So now that we've talked about the printer and we've gone over all the prints that we're able to achieve, both two color and color mixing, 
It's time for my honest opinion and first impressions of this very cool color mixing 3D printer. For $255, which is the current sale price over at gtech.com, and that link will be down in the description, this is an awesome, fun printer to play with. With a 220 by 220 by 260 millimeter build volume, you are able to print out quite a few different items. You don't necessarily have to use the color mixing aspect. You can still use it as a single color printer by loading up two of the same colors in both nozzles or both extruders and printing out a larger print or a larger scale print. Or you can use the color mixing aspect and really come up with some really cool artistic designs on existing models or even create your own. The color mixing aspect while using either the template mode or using the color mixing app provided by GTEC is a really fun way to add a little bit more style to anything you're 3D printing. If you really dial in your settings, this is an excellent two color printer. Now you will have to consume a little bit more filament and the print times are going to increase. But once you get some really great results and your settings are dialed in very, very good, you're going to get some really cool two color or multi-material if you really dial in your settings from this 3D printer. I highly recommend the GTEC A10M color mixing printer because it's a lot of fun, it's super easy to assemble, and the results from the prints are really great. And with the dual drive system with that 3 to 1 gear ratio, you should be able to print any kind of material with this 3D printer. And if you dial in your settings for the two color aspect, you could probably achieve some really great prints using all kinds of models that would require dissolvable support materials or different colors. So overall, I think that the GTEC A10M 3D printer is a great value for the money. If you're looking to add some artistic flair to existing models or some of your models of your own, the color mixing aspect is a really cool part of the printer. If you dial in your settings for two color printing, it's an excellent starter printer for doing multi-material or multi-color printing. It's a good way to get your feet wet for under $300. So I highly recommend the GTEC A10M color mixing 3D printer if you're looking to add a little artistic flair to some of your prints, or if you're really looking to get started in multicolor or multi-material printing, this is the printer for you. At under $300, you can't go wrong with the GTEC A10M color mixing 3D printer. Well, that about wraps it up for my honest opinion and first impressions of the GTEC A10M color mixing 3D printer. A huge shout out and thank you to GTEC for sending over the printer to, for us to test and review. It's been a lot of fun dialing in our settings for the two color and really creating some cool models using the color mixing aspect. So thank you GTEC. If you guys found this episode interesting and informative and you're looking for ways to support the channel, check out that Patreon link and all the other affiliate links down in the description. All the models that we printed out will also be available down in the description along with links to GTEC's website and where you can download the newest version of their firmware and check out the color mixing app. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment, like, and share those videos, and I'll talk to you guys soon.